start with the, the next step and uh, almost final step of this first uh, presentation. We thought it was going to be important to review again what is, what is uh, Educarte. Uh, some of you already attended our Zoom meeting in which we explained uh, uh, the project, but many of you were not in that uh, Zoom meeting. So it's important to give you a brief summary of what the Spanish agency accepted. Okay, There are some common lines to all of us and some specific lines depending on the country and depending on the uh, on the school that takes part in, in, in Educarte. Um, where is it? Uh, abajo. Wait, I'm a little bit torpe. Here. Uh, when you submit a project to the Erasmus Plus Agency, you have first of all to choose the priority that you, your project will be assigned to. And in our case, we decided that Educarte in Identidad Europea, Education, Education and Arts in, in European Identity, was going to be a project that develops skills and inclusion through creati creativity and arts. So <coughs> any type of project linked to Educarte during the ne these next two years is going, be, is going to be a project uh, with inclusion and arts. Um, uh, it is very important uh, during these two years to promote social and educational value of European cultural heritage. And uh, European cultural heritage is such a global concept that you can choose whatever line uh, of that uh, cultural heritage that you want to apply in your country. Okay, so there will be a very wide mix of uh, European cultural heritage approaches on our uh, Educarte in Identidad Europea project. Uh, we're going to be tackling the early school leaving uh, because this is a must of every Erasmus Plus project. So absentism, avoiding absentism is, is a way uh, to, to work when, when dealing with Educarte. And of course, social inclusion. That's why we asked all of you to choose schools where they, they are primary or secondary schools where there is a problem of social inclusion. Okay. Um, yes, Jose Manuel. I don't know if later we are going to upload this presentation in the web page so they don't need to take photos. To yeah, well, uh, of course. I, I can send it to you once we finish by, by email and you will, you will get it if, if you want to. So. Don't worry about taking the pictures. If you want to take them, of course, do so, but you will get it. These are the partners, and uh, you already know them because they, we, each of us represents one of these partners, with the exception of the University of Ghent, which is absent due to uh, problems uh, with, uh, uh, with him, with uh, Chris. Chris Rutten no? is his name. But basically, uh, uh, the Spanish uh, partners are Fundación Yehud y Menuhin España, uh, Universidad Rey Juan Carlos, Manuel, and Fundación Violeta Friedman, Patricia. The two partners of Belgium are the Ghent University and Muse Belgium. In Italy, we have two partners, Muse Italia on Luz, uh, uh, on behalf of Muse Torino, and Aistel uh, Interni. In Portugal, we have the school Ferreira Patricio, Agrupamento de Escolas Ferreira Patricio, but there is going to be a very close collaboration with the Muse Association of Portugal. And in, in, in uh, the, same as, the same situation as in Hungary, we have the Eshak Budapesti Tankeriletti Kutzpont, uh, which is the city of uh, the district, a educational district of the city of Budapest. No, but Musa Hungary, as a collaborator, is going to be working very closely with them because they are supporting with artists the, the uh, district. Same case of Musa Torino, who will be working with Musa uh, Italia, La Sociedad y Epudi Menos in Portugal, which will be working with the school Ferreira Patricio, and Musa Schweiz, which is uh, uh, receiving funds not from the Spanish agency, 
but from the Swiss uh, Erasmus Plus agency, we were able to sell the project to the Erasmus Plus agency in Switzerland, Movetia, it's called, and they accepted Swiss schools to take part of the project. So you are kind of in between two, the two sides of a river. You are partners, but you are not partners. It depends on how we see you. You are very, very well welcome. That's in any case the situation. In Spain, we will be working with three uh, secondary schools. The reason for choosing secondary schools is that our project with the Foundation Violeta Friedman is not a project for primary schools. Uh, it's, um, it's too heavy, I think, to, to deal this uh, type of uh, contents with primary schools. And we decided to choose secondary schools also, and uh, Patricia will explain it to you this afternoon. Uh, Violeta Friedman was 15, 14, when she entered Auschwitz. So uh, we want to find children of the same age that experience a little bit that, uh, that uh, story. No? In uh, uh, the school in Brussels is going to be Putzel, or it was, but it was Putzel, but we don't have that school anymore, so we changed it. In Ghent. And what's the name of the school? Okay, excellent. So the, school, the, the, the Belgian school will be in Ghent, it won't be in Brussels. Uh, the uh, school in Torino is in Chena, oh, you are here representing that school. Leonardo da Vici, oh, oh, we, saw that. we saw that you've been here too. The Agrupamento Escolas Ferreira Patricio, and we have the teacher, Maria oh, Raul. Ah, if it is an old adjoinment of schools, the school which. One of the schools taking part of the Street Agrupamento de Escolas. And the school of Vidai Nash Laszlo is the school that we chose in, in Budapest. And finally, your school in, in Switzerland is in St. Gallen, and it's the Häufli Schule. Okay, they told me St. Gallen. Okay, okay. so that's, that's the, the, the place. Well, we'll be visiting your school in any case. Uh, this is the location of cities uh, and uh, throughout Europe that are participating in the project. We tend to be very Mediterranean when submitting projects. That's an in, uh, uh, that's, I mean, at the end, it's how we work. We Spanish people tend to join Italians and Portuguese people. As you see, the south always there. Uh, but we decided to include the north in this project. That's why we have uh, Ghent. That's why we have Torino, which is the north at the end. It's not the south. We <laughs> are not Terroni. We are Terroni. Uh, that's why we have Budapest, <laughs> and that's why we have <coughs> St. Gallen or Gans. Gans, no? Gans. Gans. Like Gans, we feel. No, Gans. 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 Okay. Okay, Gans. Okay. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> um, these are common characteristics of the schools taking part in the project. And this is very important because at the end of the project, we'll be judging the type of schools that participated. And you might tell me, many, maybe, maybe some of your schools do not have all these characteristics. It can be possible. But if you have one of them, when sending us back the information of your school, please refer to that point where you are strong. So don't let us know that your percentage of immigrant students is very low. I don't want to know it. I prefer to know that you are working social exclusion on your own. <coughs> okay? uh, uh, these are characteristics already approved by the Spanish agency. So if, we, uh, if, if, if the, the choice of school does not include most of these characteristics, your school wouldn't be uh, applicable for the project. Regarding budget control issues, oh, it's not important for the schools, but it's important for us. Museo Hungary and the Association Yehudi Men from Portugal 
would be responsible for the budgets, although they are not direct partners of the project. And uh, this is important if you want to, uh, to understand a little bit how we are going to be paying. Uh, we've already paid 40% uh, in August. The next 40% will be paid when, the when once they approve the intermediate report and the last 20% once they approve our final report. You already got the first 40%, first so regarding that part, everything is okay. In order to get the second 40%, of course, we are going to ask you for documents in order to submit the intermediate report because if without information from your schools and your entities, there's no way to, to write down the intermediate report. So make sure, or we will make you sure, uh, uh, that uh, the request of some certificates and pedagogical documentations are mandatory in order to, first of all, fulfill the reports and then pay you back the next uh, parts. Okay. Uh, and now, every single case of Educarte has its specificity in your country. We are not going to tell you <coughs> what to do. Uh, the way you decide to develop the Educarte in Identidad Europea project, it's up to you. It's absolutely up to you. The only thing that we are going to be asking is for some minimum requests. And those minimum requests are the participation, of course, of artists and structure of your entities. If you don't have artists, then it will be the structure, teachers in this case. Uh, you will be working with a partner, in our case, in Spain, Fundación Violeta Friedman and Universidad Rey Juan Carlos, uh, responsible for the lectures on the chosen topic of identity, or of European identity. FEMA will be working through art, and they will be working through the, uh, this uh, theoretical topics chosen. Uh, in our case, uh, Fundación Violeta Friedman will be speaking about the figure of Violeta Friedman, which is known not only because of being a survivor of the Holocaust in Auschwitz, Patricia will tell you, but also because of uh, being a person uh, thanks to whom we have in Spain the possibility to fight against uh, racism and uh, uh, xenophobia and anti-Semitism because the Spanish uh, legal code was changed thanks to her. And that's what we are specifically going to be speaking with, with the children in our schools. The project will have therefore lectures and workshops to internalize the ideas that we mentioned during the lectures. As a result of that, we will have some materials that will be shared with the children, uh, materials that can al also be offered by, by the uh, entities participating. In the case of the Fundación Violeta Friedman, we have a book that will be freely given to all the children and in the case of, of uh, the Universidad Rey Juan Carlos, we have a kind of Lego system that will be shared with the children in order to create a, a cultural heritage through royal uh, places in Spain. And we have to participate with primary or secondary schools, it's up to you. And finally, we need for sure, and uh, uh, this is a must of the project, audiovisual audio materials from each activity. Uh, uh, the Spanish agency likes very much our projects, but if they don't see what we did, they don't believe that we did it. So if we want to, uh, it doesn't matter what we do if we don't uh, show it. And that's why the website is so important. Yes. No, it's of all the process, and you, it's up to you of the process, of the process. So it's up to you to decide when to record and when not to record. The more materials we get, the easier it will be to document the, the process. Photographs and video, and video too.
Yes, I just want to I do understand uh, the, the partnership. Uh, I mean, ev every partner in the project uh, has uh, an, uh, a, sh a sharing partner. No, 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 no. Okay. no. Uh, I mean, these are the partners and collaborators. Uh, I mean, the, the problem with us was, let me go up. Here. These are the partners, the official partners. But as we chose some partners in some countries that do not have an artistic uh, background, mm -hmm. like the district or like the school by itself, mm -hmm. we needed to include uh, the artistic ah, partner. Okay. And that's why we included Musa. Uh, uh, in the, the entity, the museum, whatever, the association, that is going to be working European identity in Torino doesn't have to be a partner, doesn't have to be a collaborator. Okay. There, there could be some closer partner, does this? No. It doesn't have to be part of the... Okay. We will know it afterwards and we will say that that entity collaborated with us. Okay. Okay, this is also a very important information. We are today here in the Exchange of Trade Practices meeting in Spain, which is taking place in November 2021. We already fixed the dates in Terni, which will be the second meeting, and it will take place in February 15th and 16th. The rest are proposals. I mean, I don't care. Uh, it's, it, you, you can change it. That's why it's in red. Uh, but it's important to know that during two years, we'll have another meeting in Portugal. It will probably be in May, because that's what I spoke uh, with Leonor, with the Portuguese representative. She wants to have it at the end. She wants uh, her meeting to be the last meeting of the project. And that's why it's in May. 2023, and in between, we should have a meeting in Budapest, in Ghent, in Torino, and in Bern. Uh, if those dates are okay, we accept them. If not, uh, just give us a proposal of meeting. Yes, Alessandro. Uh, as we are working on a long-term uh, process with classes, we'd like to um, um, locate the two meeting uh, in uh, spring 2023, if it's possible, and maybe April. Okay. In, in between Kent uh, uh, and Elora. The way we work, because we are participating right now in six European projects and we have a list of uh, endless meetings. The first, uh, this is first in, first out, like in logistics. Once you send us our date, a date, if it's not taken, you will have it. It's yours. Uh, so the sooner you tell us by written uh, email uh, when you choose to have your meeting in Torino, the better, and we'll fix that date. Okay. The idea is for you to know that there are going to be seven meetings: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And in each meeting, we're going to have the same structure as we're going to have here in Spain. It's important that, well, a little bit different because the first meeting in Spain uh, didn't have the implication of the Spanish schools because we could not yet start the project. Uh, but the idea is that dur during the first day of meeting, each country will uh, ex ex present their experience during one hour. And you will tell us how the project is being developed in your country, such as what we are going to see during today and tomorrow. Each of you are going to explain us what you're going to do in your country. As time goes by, the project will, will not only be theory, but practice. And we want to know what is the practice behind the theory that was explained during the first uh, meeting, which is the Spanish one, okay? Um, so uh, from now on, Ben, uh, sorry, Ben, Gan, 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 Switzerland Gan. is going to be part of that uh, presentations. Today, you, we expected uh, Aurora to be with us. She couldn't come. 
And that's why we don't expect from you a, a presentation of what you are going to be doing in Switzerland. But from now on, Switzerland will be just like another team. And you will be introducing us on the Swiss experience, okay? On European identity. And uh, each meeting will take place between, each, uh, sorry, each presentation will take, will last 45 minutes, one hour. So the first day will be uh, practically composed by all the presentations. Uh, the audience to which we're going to uh, direct the presentation are teachers, artists, public educational authorities, whatever, from your city. Uh, that's not today the case, because most of you belong to the project. But during our next meeting in Terli, in the audience, there will be the people representing the different countries, plus teachers, artists, and uh, educational authorities of Terni, because we don't want to keep this as a internal project. We want to disseminate it and to let other people know that working on European identity is very easy and we will give them different examples that are working in different European cities, okay? And during day two, we want to go to the school and or we want to see a practical example. And that's why we invite you to let us, uh, I don't know, due to COVID, I don't know if we are going to be able to go to the school, but we can bring the school to the meeting and show us how the project is being developed in that specific school. Okay, in this case, in the, in the school Leonardo da Vinci of Terni. And then we will have four final hours or three hours to evaluate the meeting, to write down the certificates, to have the list of participants, to make sure that all the documents that are requested by the Spanish agency are fulfilled. Sometimes we spend so much time on this first part that we completely forget that this is the most important part for the agency. So we have to make sure that we receive from you all the documentation. Okay. Uh, how many people are going to be visiting you? This is important. Um, okay. There are going to be 12 people in, in Terni, in Torino, in Ghent, in Evora, and in Budapest. There are more people than in Spain because we have three partners and we travel with more people, okay? Uh, and this is the relationship of people by entities, uh, which means that when organizing your meeting in, in, in Torino, for example, you have to be take into account that you will have 12, at least 12 foreigners plus the local uh, people attending the meeting. Okay, that's important. Uh, it can be that in some of these uh, trips, more people uh, decide to travel. And that's the case, for example, today with Aistel. In, instead of two, we have five. The more people tra the travel, the better, of course. That's uh, an asset of the project. Uh, we will not pay for it. Uh, but uh, you, you, if you pay for it, it's, it's, it's excellent, and we really appreciate it. Not only us, the, the agency is extremely happy to receive as many people as possible. Spain, in fact, tends to help and to co-finance sometimes even one additional trip. So uh, we, we would appreciate it if, if you take that into account. Okay. okay. And... Uh, that's uh, like the boring part, uh, the more uh, till here. The, the, this from now on should be the, fu the funny part of the project. So uh, unfortunately, it, it won't be funny. Um, <coughs> these are the activities that we told the Spanish agency that had to be done. And this is what we are expected to uh, have, uh, have done at the end of the life of the project. We can do more things. We can change even things, but this has to be done in any case. So uh, sometimes we tend to be very creative and we decide to give a twist uh, and, uh, well, let's do this, let's do that. Okay, I ac we accept everything. You can do whatever you want, but do this too. 
Okay. First thing, we had to present the project to the different local entities, and that's what we all did. And that's why Jose Manuel sent you an email uh, a few days ago asking for little news uh, explaining those uh, initial meetings uh, with uh, other administrations and entities. We got already information from Terry, for example. Uh, I think from Jose Manuel, you know it better than I do, from Torino. Okay, uh, we, we expect all the countries to send us uh, pictures of those meetings and an explanation of how you decided to create that first uh, interaction with your local entities. Uh, the pictures does, don't have to be from the day you had the meeting because nobody knows the date. So if you didn't take any pictures, don't let us know. Just send us a picture of people and we will assume that these are the people of the meeting. We are not going to be uh, checking the nature of the people in the pictures. This is very Spanish, sorry. You guys from Switzerland are looking at me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this does not apply to Switzerland because Switzerland is not a, pro a partner of the Spanish project. So in the case of Switzerland, you will have to send the information uh, to Movetia and whatever Aurora asks you for. Okay, this does not apply to you. I asked her, she said we don't have to do anything. Okay, no, no, because we are not part of our project. In any case, if you, uh, you are very welcome to send us any type of documentation because we will include it in our website. And we want to consider Switzerland just like a regular partner, but we cannot force you to send the information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would uh, recommend you to speak with Aurora, and uh, if if uh, you you want to send us something, speak with me in that case. Okay, you can write me, and uh, I can also coordinate the thing with, with our Okay, okay point two, uh, the creation of teams in each country. That's up to you, of course. We cannot tell you who are going to be the artists. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's something that has to be done, because you are here. So you already know that there is a team creation per, part, per country, and we already signed bilateral agreements with each of the partners of the project. So this has been done. Point three, and this is a, a <coughs> activity that depends on FEMEC, on us. We already uh, have designed the website. We designed the evaluation surveys. Uh, we designed uh, the working documents. We have an audiovisual proposal. So that's, that's all, all, uh, that, that, that all those templates, templates have been, have been uploaded, uploaded on the website. And Jose Manuel, Manuel will explain you exactly which are the, which documents, are the documents that you will see on the website and how to, and use, how to them, use them and, to and how to send them. We, we have a special presentation uh, uh, to uh, focus, focus on the A3 activity. So, so for us, for us it's, it's been done. It's now up to now you up to, you to fulfill, fulfill the requirements, requirements that we need. Uh, activity uh, four. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, because I, 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 got, I, lost. I got lost. Uh, should we share it with Okay, okay yeah. Um, in each, in each Moose, Moose association, association participating in the project, there is, there is an adult training activity, training activity every year. We you know that, you know that. It, exists it exists in Italy, it exists in, in Portugal, Portugal, it exists in Hungary, in, Hungary, Belgium. in Belgium. We need, we need and we said in the project that we, that are, we are going to explain, explain the project, the project during that, during that uh, adult, uh, adult training, training activity with teachers, with teachers and artists, artists or, or educational professionals. professionals. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be a presentation of hours. three hours with uh, very detailed, very detailed example. examples. We want you simply to let the people in your country know that this project exists 
and the type of activities that is being implemented in Enicarte in 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 I think it's not only because it's good for the project, I think it's good for your national uh, uh, groups and the teams to know this type of project and these type of experiences in seven different European cities. Okay, so we expect from each meeting to have, to have a small uh, uh, explanation of what you did and some and pictures, some pictures and, and this will these will be news that will be, that will be uploaded, uploaded on the website. Okay. okay. This is the, this funny, is the part, funny part, which is the work, which is the work with schools. Initially, Initially uh, uh, minors, minors will be participating in both, in both lectures, lectures done by professionals and, and workshops, uh, workshops done, by done by artists. It's up to, it's up to you to decide the, the, discipline, the discipline that you choose, choose to, work to work with. Work with. In fact, in fact, the more, the more disciplines, disciplines the better. I heard, I heard for example, that Ebolia is expert, expert in social circus. Filco Social, which is something we mm, have had of experience in Spain too. So it's, it's very interesting. Uh, Nora, for example, she's an expert in music, music therapy, but also in, 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 in visual arts or theater. So we want, uh, well, with Manuel, Manuel, we will be working with Paca, and Paca, she's an expert in, uh, in visual arts too. And, uh, the more, the disciplines, more disciplines, the better. The better. There is no, there is no uh, uh, limits to the, to the selection, uh, selection of disciplines because, because we, want we want this to be a project, project that uses arts, arts to internalize all the concepts, all the concepts that, we that we are going to be offering, offering our children. So uh, it's, up uh, it's up to you to decide which is the best discipline, discipline that, that works with your children. Okay. okay. Um, um, and. Uh, and uh, this will, this will last, last during, during the next, the next two years. So, so uh, it's, uh, it's important that you have uh, the, the documents, documents that we uh, explain be below. below. Uh, there, uh, there will be a, a, a deductive unit, unit. I Jose think Manuel, Jose Manuel, we already have that document, document will that will be common for all of you. All of you. It's like, it's like the base that you have to fill in in order for us also, also, also to be able to evaluate the work in, in all the countries. We need some, we need some common, common reference. reference. There will be a video uh, of, the of the annual experience in each country that has to be done by you. So it's a video five to eight minutes for each year. So we, so we need from you two videos, one for, one for first the first year and one for the second year. There are two school years involved in this project. Uh, we'll uh, we will be asking the national coordinators, uh, in this case the legal representatives of the partners, to certificate how many hours have been done, the lectures, the workshops, the collaborators, number of children uh, implied in the project, number of teachers implied. You don't have to send us the list of names. We don't want the list of names. We just want, uh, in this case, for example, in Hungary, Marisa, to sign a certificate stating how many people participated in each year. Okay. okay. And, and finally, finally uh, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Is there a form for this? Have you, have you designed a form for this? For the certificate, we'll send it, we'll send it to you. Okay. 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 And, uh, and uh, finally, we need news. news. This is very important. Again, what does not, what we, uh, if you don't show it, it won't exist. So we need news. From, from the lectures, the lectures from not from each, each lecture, from the lectures, from the lectures that, are that are taking uh, place, in, place the in the schools based on, based on the Indian identity, identity and from the, and from the workshops. Uh, again, uh, again you if you want to do pictures from each, from each workshop, workshop, it's up to you. Up to you. But we need, we need to document it that, that, we, that have we have lectures the lectures and we have the workshops. Okay? Again, yeah, again, no, because you and no, no, because I, you, are not, you are not an official body. But if you want to send us this document, we again, we again, I will highly appreciate it. Okay, okay, we are almost, we are almost there. there. So point so six. Point six uh, it's the submission of the immediate report, which will require from us certificates. Uh, stating, uh, stating again, again quantitative, quantitative and qualitative information of, of the process. Uh, it's, it's not, not 
it will be, it will be a certificate that we, that we sent you, sent you yeah. again, and you only, and you only have to fill it up. And the same, and the same for the final, uh, 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 final report. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you tend to concentrate too much on the activity, and that's and something that says a lot. A lot. You, you tend to be activists, activists. and, being an, and being an activist is great. Is great. But if but there is nothing, nothing, if there is no document behind, behind the acti activity, activity, then it's, then worthless. it's worthless. So, so these, are these are European, European projects, projects. Uh, uh, and Europeans, Europeans are, are much cleverer than, than we are. think they are. We, 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 we tend to think we are Spaniards, so we know everything. No, they tend to know more than us. And it's true that they ask for very, very limited control, control on our project. On our project. If, you if you see the control of this project, this project it seems, seems non-existent. Non -existent. <coughs> but there is, there is a huge control behind, behind the justification of each of the activities. Because if you don't uh, uh, prove that you did activity 7, they will take away from you a certain percentage of the grant given to you. So, of course, there is no control, but there is. So, tend to keep a lot of documents that back up Everything, everything that has been has done, been done in, in your school. Because we, because we know that, that it's, going, it's going, to going to be there. But sometimes, but sometimes we forget to back up the mm. information. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. We expect the intermediate report to be in February 2022. But it's, but it's not, not yet, yet decided by the, by the Spanish agency. Okay. okay. And, and uh, uh, there is one. There is one. <coughs> Sorry. And this is, and the, this final is the final. Qué desastre soy, de verdad. Qué inútil nación. Aquí, aquí, aquí. And this is the final activity which we already spoke about. It's the international meetings, the Swiss, the six meetings plus the Swiss meeting. From each of the seven meetings, I already explained the, the, the contents of those meetings. In this case, it would be great if you could also take part actively on this information. We really would appreciate it because we want, of course, we need the certificates of attendance, list of participants, all those documents that you will be receiving and signing during these days, plus an edited video of 8 to 10 minutes of the meeting itself. So that's why, that's why it's important not only really to record all the, all the meetings because it will give us examples of each of the presentations. Of the presentations. We, will we will upload them on the, on website. the website. We have, we have a list. It will, it will also show us, the for example, the evolution of the project, of the project in Switzerland. Switzerland. Because if you upload the seven, the seven different presentations, presentations of the Swiss team, you will see, you will see how the project started and how it ended. And I think, and I think that's, that's a very interesting information. information. Same, for, Same the for the rest of the cities participating in the project. Uh, with, uh, with the funds, uh, uh, as we said before, given to trans for transnational mobility uh, uh, per person, uh, uh, you, you, know you know that already, because this is the case uh, during this trip, you are paying for the traveling and for the costs of uh, maintenance and lodging. And lodging. Um, um, in, in, some in some cases, cases what we, what we uh, ask, ask you to do is to organize, to organize everything, everything for the people, for the people coming, coming to your country. That's, That's our case, for example. We already, we already paid for the hotel in Mediodía. We will be paying for La Residencia. We will be paying for the food. But that's because the price we get is cheaper than the one you would have to pay if the invoice would be sent to you. Once, Once uh, uh, the, the meeting ends, ends we will be asking you to pay us uh, for those accommodation and, uh, and, and the maintenance expenses. Okay. But if you want if to organize it in the same way, is necessary for all meetings, or we can we can we can other other
it's up to it's you. Up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. It, it, it was it easier was for us to do it this way, but, but we have been traveling, uh, traveling to countries where we, where we pay for the hotel, we pay for lunches, lunches and uh, dinners. dinners. So, uh, so uh, in, in the, way the way you choose is the one, is the one that uh, uh, what, that depends on the on the visiting visitors, on the visited city. Okay. Sometimes you can pay for a dinner if if you want to. The school invites us to visit the school, and the school decides to invite us for that dinner or that lunch dinner. Difficult for that lunch during the second day of of meeting. What? It's it's perfectly acceptable. We don't charge you in that case the food because the school decides to pay for it. And that is basically what we want you to do. It's not a lot. Basically, it's it's really an easy project, honestly. Compared to others in which we have been involved, this is one of the easiest projects, but it has a lot of content because we are very glad to have so many different approaches to European identity in very different countries with very different uh, uh, types of organizations participating in the project. So I think it will be very useful and I hope you are happy with well, at least, well, at least today, today with being part, part of it. Let's wait for the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.